Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne. So today's video is going to be an exciting one. It's going to be one that's been highly, highly requested by all of you. So as you guys know, I love unboxing BoxyCharm boxes, but every single month I always get some comments that are like, you know what? These are not the boxes that paying subscribers are getting. So I wanted to put it to the test. So I went on my Instagram stories and asked you guys to submit your May BoxyCharm boxes for base box and for premium box. And we're gonna take a look and see what variations that paying subscribers are getting. We're gonna go through all the different variations I was able to find and we'll talk a little bit about that. I also have a really fun giveaway in this video. So if that interests you, be sure to continue on. Before we jump into today's video, I actually want to talk a little bit about the giveaway and it's actually this product right over here. It's by a company called Ease Hold and they make absolutely amazing makeup mirrors amongst other things. And I want to show you the mirror that you can win. And the giveaway that I'm hosting with Ease Hold is going to be for two winners. Yes, two winners. So you're going to get your very own brand new box. This one is mine. And I'm going to actually select winners from this video and from my last video, which is the Ofra Cosmetics video. And all you have to do is tell me which of the items was my favorite item in the Ofra Cosmetics video and comment down below along with your contact information. And like I mentioned, there will be two winners of this exact same item, but brand new for you that's sealed in a box. So so let's get right into what this item is. So when you get this item, it'll be shipped in a box just like this. This is how the mirror comes to you. And when you open it up, I'm just going to simply attach it. But there's the mirror here and then there's a stand and some information. And it's a beautiful large mirror, which I absolutely love. So this is what the mirror looks like when it's assembled. And the great thing about this mirror versus other mirrors is that it's super easy to detach the base. So in case you were traveling, you could take it apart very, very easily. And look at how gigantic this mirror is. Now this does light up, it's LED, and it's rechargeable as well. As far as the model goes, this is the Ease Hold Tara, and it does have a really, really, really long battery life. But when you do run out of battery, you could easily recharge it, and it comes with all those accessories, which I will show you shortly. But I just wanna show you how to turn it on. Once you turn on the button in the back, then you could actually go through and change the lighting features. So as you can see, this little white paneling does light up. It has three different modes. It has white, warm, and natural. And that's perfect when you're trying to apply your makeup on the go. And unfortunately with this lighting, it's hard to kind of see how bright this is, but it is very, very bright. So I'll be sure to insert some video for you guys to actually see what it looks like. And you can cycle, like I said, the light modes by just pressing the little M button. And I love how crystal clear this mirror actually is. It's very, very like sharp as far as the actual mirror itself and that's how you could tell that it's like super super good quality i actually did a review for ease hold for their venus pro and it was actually on another video so i'll be sure to link it down below in case you guys are interested in seeing a different style from them but the tara mini is perfect because i feel like it's great for your vanity especially if you don't have a lot of room i love the venus pro but it opens up so wide that you do need quite a bit of room on your desk to be able to have it out all the time whereas this is just super easy to work with and the great thing is that i could actually use it when i'm filming because it's nice and short Short, so I could actually be able to film with it as well. The other thing about this mirror is that you could tilt it up to 90 degrees and it does actually have a magnification in here. So I want to show you guys that product as well. So it comes with the cord to charge it up. Also comes with a cleaning cloth and some instructions and this cute little guy over here. So this cute little mirror actually gives you up to 10 times magnification. It does have two little suction cups so you could actually go ahead and stick it on if you wanted to on the mirror itself. But for me, I actually like to use these when I'm like up close like tweezing my little eyebrows because it like shows me every little detail. You get this mirror and this gigantic beautiful mirror over here. So the rules for this giveaway are actually going to be in the description box below just in case you forget some of them. But basically you have to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and and the last video that I filmed of the Oprah Cosmetics video. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram pages, Glam with Suzanne and Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. And the question that you have to answer in the comment section below is which Ofra item was my favorite recommended item in my last video. And be sure to enter on this video and the last video because there will be two prize winners. And this giveaway is going to be open to the US and Canada. And you do have to be over the age of 18, unfortunately. So hopefully you guys do enter this giveaway and I can't wait to see the winners very, very soon. Like I said before, all the details are in the description box below. Thank you so much to Easehold for partnering up with me on this video. Now let's go ahead and jump into today's video, which is going to be all about what paying subscribers are really getting. So this has been a really hot topic and I would say ever since that I started like 
YouTube or even my Instagram page, BoxyCharm Snake Peak. Every month there would be some people that would comment and say, you know what, honestly, we're not getting these variations that you're posting, like what's going on? So that actually sparked my paid versus PR unboxings, which I used to do before. And basically what it was is that my paid subscription versus what I got in PR. And some months, actually most months, they were the same items, which is why I kind of stopped doing it because I was getting way too much of the same thing. So in my personal experience, I found that, you know what, as a paying subscriber, I was getting some of the PR boxes but that may not always be the case. I figured I would post an Instagram story to my Instagram page of BoxyCharm Snake Peak asking you guys to submit your May boxes but only people who are paying subscribers of BoxyCharm. So no influencers, no one that's getting it in PR or anything like that. The pictures that were submitted were strictly by people like you guys who pay for their membership or their subscription and I wanted to see what they were getting in their boxes because I know that's the biggest thing for you guys as well. So so many of you did submit pictures and thank you guys so much for taking the time to DM me. Now my DMs were flooded with pictures of their variations and the boxes that they received so I want to thank you guys so much. Unfortunately I have to cut it down to a select few amount of people just because I don't want this video to go on forever. Now when I was going through all the pictures I was looking for variations that were of course different from one another but the other thing that I was looking for is you know different types of products that are offered in the boxes and by that I mean boxes that did feature new variations from that month and boxes that featured old products that were featured in previous boxes as well because I know that's one of the things that I heard some people say is that you know what some people are getting variations with products that you know were featured in previous months so I wanted to show those products or like maybe repeat items that are coming out again just so it's a fair representation of the different boxes that are going out right now keep in mind when I say repeat items these are items that are new to that subscriber so that means that they they didn't get them in their boxes before however they did get it this time around so there are always some variations that are lingering out there that have products that were featured in previous months that other subscribers may have gotten but that specific person who received it did not so hopefully that you know explanation makes sense but I just want to give you guys as much of a disclaimer as I can before I go into this video because I'm sure the haters will still come for me and say that you know what it was selected in a certain way that you know only is skewed to all the new boxes and I wanted to make sure that I didn't do that I I wanted to make sure that this video is as fair and as objective as it possibly can be. So that's what I wanted to say. That's my little tea before I get started. I'm going to start with the May base box as far as what paying subscribers are getting. And then we're going to jump into the premium box variations that you guys submitted as well. And I will tell you this. One thing I did notice is that there are so many base box variations out there. I've received so many different pictures for base box. And a lot of the pictures that I received for premium were a lot of the same variation over and over again. So there won't be as many for premium, but I do have a lot for base. I think like seven or something like that. So we're gonna go through all of them. So grab a drink, hang out with me, grab a snack, and let's get started. So I will be looking down at my phone quite a bit because I'm going through pictures that you guys submitted on my Instagram story so I can tell you what the variation number is if you did submit it. If there is no variation number, I will tell you that. But I also will go through the products that I see in the image so you guys know what that person got. I also will be giving a shout out to the person who submitted the photo and I did get their permission to be able to do that so you guys know as well. Jumping so. right into the very first base box picture that was submitted it was by beauty cat 74 so thank you so much girl for sending this along now she did say that her box was valued at $141 the very first product that I see in this picture is the glam glow very glow which is a brand new product this month and then she received the violet boss essentials palette which we have seen in boxes before but that means that this particular subscriber did not get it before the other product that I see in here is the pretty vulgar eye primer as well as a Daily Concepts Shampoo Bar, which was kind of like met with really mixed reviews. I saw a lot of you either really hated this product or you really liked this product. And the last item in the base box was the I Am Beauty Care Dead Sea Mineral Vitamin C Serum Makeup Remover Wipes, which was a really, really long name. So those were the five items that made up her $25 base box. Overall, this box featured a little bit of the new stuff and a little bit of like a repeat in the sense that it was the Essentials palette that we have seen in previous months before. 
but honestly that palette was so 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 beautiful so I'm sure I'm gonna love it now let's move on to the next variation that I saw the next one up was submitted by Nova's Beauty so thank you so much love for submitting your picture and this variation was kind of unique because I had two palettes in it so the very first one was the Beauty Creations Cali Chic next to it was the Crown Brushes eyeshadow palette and I remember seeing this palette I think it was like 2019 if I'm not mistaken in one of the boxes I think it's the Fuego palette if I'm not mistaken and right below it I see that there is an hourglass vanish highlighting stick which oh, I hope that I get um, and then after that there is the English laundry um, rollerball perfume and two little mini um, nail polishes by Deborah Lippmann. So this also has, you know, quite a bit in this actual variation. What's unique to this particular variation is that there's two eyeshadow palettes. In my opinion, they kind of are the same color story, so I don't know, you know, how that would work. But it's always really nice to have two full-size eyeshadow palettes in one $25 subscription, so I'm sure you love that one. But that is the second variation. And again, Features a little bit of new with a little bit of old, but wanted to let you guys know of that as well. Moving on to the next picture that was submitted, and it was submitted by Yaya on Instagram. So thank you so much, girl, for sending this along. And honestly, this variation probably was my favorite, in my opinion. Um, and again, it's a base box. So this one featured a Tarte Micelle Water. By the way, I haven't gotten my May boxes for you guys that are asking out there. I'm hoping to get them next week. There have been mass delays in Toronto, so all the packages are being held up. But don't worry, my unboxing videos are coming soon, hopefully next week. But in this particular variation, she got the Tarte Micellar Water. She did receive the Hank and Henry um, Liquid Eyeliner, the Glam Glow Berry Glow Mask. Lastly, she received the Jouer Lip Gloss, which is actually what I'm hoping to get as well, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed because this is the very first time that we're seeing Jouer featured in a BoxyCharm box. And unfortunately, not everybody got it. So I do hope that I do get it. I'd love to hear from you guys if you received a variation with um, Jouer lip glosses in them. If so, what were the colors? Did you like them? Were they good? Not good? What do you think of the formula? Comment down below. But that is one of the variations. And for this one, she received a variation number 14. Moving on to the next picture that was submitted. So thank you very much, Josh. His Instagram handle is Josh with two H's, Taver. It'll be on the screen there for you guys. So thank you so much for submitting this. This is the base box as well, which is variation number 26. And he received the Tarte Micellar Water, the Glam Glow Berry Glow Mask, and a Tristique Conceal and Cover and Correct Crayon as well as the House Laboratories Liquid Liner, which is the very first time that I'm showing this to you guys. So not everyone got the House Laboratories Eyeliner. Unfortunately, that's the brand by Lady Gaga. And lastly, he received the um, Appeal Cosmetics Ultra Creme Liquid Lips. So moving on to the next variation, and this one was submitted by Kayla dot 707 on instagram so thank you so much girl for submitting your photo and this one actually had a pretty unique box in the sense that there were quite a bit of items that we have seen in previous months so i'm assuming that kayla did not receive them before the very first one is the ace beauty scarlet dusk palette and then she also received the wander beauty glow ahead oil which that is my favorite one i just ran out and i absolutely love it she also received the Glam Glow Berry Glow, as well as the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1, um, I believe it's a primer if I'm not mistaken, and the Dose of Colors Lip It Up Lipstick. So this one was pretty bomb in my opinion, although there were a couple of items in here that we have seen before, they're probably new to her, and to be honest, it's quite a bit of makeup and some skincare, so still quite balanced as far as what she received. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this variation? Comment down below. And now we're gonna move on to the next variation that was submitted by another paying subscriber. And this one is by makeup underscore and underscore MUA. Her information is on the screen there for you. And she received also the Lady Gaga uh, liquid liner in punk. And then also the lashes by Baddington Lashes and as well as the Pretty Vulgar Primer and the Glam Glow Berry Glow Mask and the Tarte Micelle Water as well. So that is variation number 10. Now moving on to the last base box variation that I have here. And this was submitted by Milana. I'll be sure to put her Instagram page on the screen there for you just because I know I'll mispronounce it. But thank you so much, girl, for submitting this along. And keep in mind, base box, five items. The very first one was the Beauty Creations Cali Chic Palette. The second item was the Hourglass um, Vanish Stick, which is the Shimmer Stick. The third item was the Pretty Vulgar Primer. The 
fourth item was the Blink Cosmetics Mascara, and the last item was the Too Faced Dazzle uh, Lip Gloss, which we actually saw before in Lux, maybe, if I'm not mistaken, maybe earlier in the year. So those were the five items in her $25 subscription. If I'm not mistaken, I think I showed you six variations. I hope that I did at least, but those were all the variations that were submitted by you guys paying subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone that submitted base box pictures to me. Unfortunately, like I said, I couldn't use all of them just because I didn't want this video to be super, super long, but I do thank you for your time, of course, and I did want to select, like I said, pictures of variations that I think would be, you know, new stuff and a mixture of stuff that are repeat items, just so you could see what paying subscribers are getting and if you want to subscribe or not, if you think there is value in this box or not. In my opinion, I feel like these boxes are always guaranteed value over $125 for a $25 box and you get to try a little bit of everything. So I absolutely love BoxyCharm. I actually subscribed for about three years or something like that before I even started the BoxyCharm sneak peek page. So honestly, I've always been a ride or die for BoxyCharm. So these variations look pretty good to me, but what matters is you guys. So what did you guys think of the paying subscriber boxes? Do you think that they're about the same value as what, you know, different influencers have been posting um, in their videos as of recently? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are comment down below. And of course, like I mentioned, my May box will be coming soon. So you'll see what I'll be getting. And I'll let you know my thoughts on my boxes real soon when I finally get them. Now we're going to jump into the premium box variation. Now I will share my experience with the premium box pictures that were submitted. I will say that most of the pictures were submitted were of these same types of boxes. So with the base box, I saw so many different variations that I was able to bring to you guys. But unfortunately, with the premium box, that wasn't my experience. That's why I only have three pictures to show you guys of the premium box. And keep in mind, that's just me going on based of the pictures that were submitted when I asked on my Insta story. There is probably thousands, if not, you know, hundreds of thousands of you that received premium boxes that were multiple different variations but this is what the people who submitted to my insta story did submit to me so that's all i could base it on so again trying to be objective so let's jump into the very first variation. keep in mind babes with premium you do get six items in your box it retails for 35 dollars and has a guaranteed value of 175 dollars or more so the very first picture was actually submitted by beauty.w.steph on instagram so thank you so much girl for sending your picture along now let's go through the products she received the Too Faced Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette, which fingers crossed I received this palette because I've heard really good things. And as you know, matte shadows perform really, really well on not just, you know, people, young people, but specifically for people with mature skin because it doesn't settle into the fine lines or anything like that. And it's just very, very flattering. So that was the very first item she received. The second item was the Pure Heels um, Centella 90 Ampule. So again, I'm thinking this is some sort of oil. Unfortunately, I don't have this product in front of me, so I can't really describe it any more than that to you guys. The third item that she received was by Skid & Co, and we have seen them in our boxes before. This time, they are featuring their Truffle Eye Cream. So this is a brand new product from them. This is not a repeat item. Just wanted to let you guys know of that. The fourth item that she received was actually by Kat Von D, or known as KVD Beauty now, and it's an eyebrow like pomade. And then the other product that she received is by Tarte Cosmetics. It's actually their new line, which I believe is called the Sugar Rush Tarte by Tarte. And this is actually, I believe, a lip scrub, if I'm not mistaken. The last item that she received was by Milk Cosmetics or Milk Makeup, and it was their Glow Oil, and they did have a variation of shades that were available as well. So those were the six items that she received in her premium box, and that was variation number 47. So moving on to the next variation, and this was submitted by G Cook on Instagram, so thank you so much for submitting your photo. The very first item that she received was the Baddington brushes, and this is a brush duo set, and that's kind of the box that you see right underneath it. And then there is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil bronzer. I know there was some confusion about this. A lot of people thought it was going to be the matte one just based on the choice date, but it's not. It's the shimmery sort of luminous finish, um, and it is a bronzer. The third item was the Pure Heels Scintilla um, 90 Ampule, which is the oil again. The other item is actually by Kevin Aquan, and it's the first time we're seeing Kevin Aquan in BoxyCharm, and this is their um, The Expert Mascara. The other item that she received was by Milk Makeup, and it's the Glow Oil as well. You could use it for your lips and your cheeks, so 
that is like a multifunctional product. And then the last item was by Sugar Rush by Tarte, and it is their lip scrub again. So those were the six items that she received in her variation. So moving on to the last variation that I have for the premium box, and this was submitted by Marisol88J on Instagram. So thank you, girl, for sending this along, and thank you for taking the pictures. So the very first one is by Skin & Co Truffle Therapy, which is the eye cream. The second product is by Milk Cosmetics. Again, it's the Glow Oil, and it's just a different shade from what I could see on this picture. And then the third item is actually by KVD Beauty or Kat Von D Beauty, and it's the Inkwell Liner. And this product is a little bit different because it is like a little potted um, liquid liner, and it's a pretty funky color as well, which I thought was pretty cool. And then the next product up was the product that we saw by Tarte, the Sugar Rush Lip Butter Balm. So that is one of the items that she received. The next item is by Too Faced, and it's the Natural Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And lastly, she received the um, Pure Heels Oil as well. Okay, so that completes all the variations that were submitted by my Instagram followers. So thank you so much for submitting your May BoxyCharm boxes. I appreciate it so much, but I would love to hear your thoughts based on the variations that you saw. Did you think that they were about the same as what everyone else is getting? If you received a different variation, do let me know in the comment section below with you know what you received, what products they were as well. Were you happy with your box or were you not so happy with your box? Keep in mind that I do recognize that a lot of you have not received your boxes yet. I am one of those people. I am still waiting for my box as well. When it does get here, there will be a video next week, but do comment down below when your box finally arrives, what you did get and what your thoughts were overall about the box. If you guys are interested in subscribing to BoxyCharm, I'll leave a link down below where you could get all the information. They usually do have a free gift for new subscribers, so be sure to look into that as well. Just as a quick reminder, guys, if you haven't entered for this giveaway with Ease Hold, you will be getting a brand new version of this in a box sealed. There will be two winners. All you have to do is be sure to like this video and the last video that I posted which is the Oprah Cosmetics video and comment in the comment section below with my favorite Oprah Cosmetics product that I recommended in that video in this video and the last video as well because I will be picking a winner from this video and the Oprah video so two winners will be getting this product shipped to you it's open to Canada and the US all the details and rules will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up I'd love to hear from you guys do you want this video to be like an ongoing series on this channel where you know I post like as much as I can on a monthly basis what paying subscribers are getting in their boxy charm boxes like if you would like to know and see what your other fellow subscribers are getting comment down below I can try my best to make this a regular thing if that's what you want to do I think the hardest part is always trying to get all the pictures from subscribers in time to do this but I will try my best if it's something that you guys really did enjoy so do comment down below so I know what your feelings are on this and if if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to my channel by smashing that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss when I upload and be sure to follow me on my Instagram pages BoxyCharm Sneak Peek and Glam with Suzanne where I do all my makeup tutorials and beauty unboxings on there as well so thank you guys so much for your time I cannot wait to see you on another video very very soon until next time stay safe and be well bye bye guys